Hello everyone, Kirith here and welcome to another Gran Turismo 7 video and today we're going to ask what is probably the most important question in any racing game, which is how fast can you go? So we're going to take the fastest car in the game, which is this, the Tormacork XVGT, and we're going to see just how fast we can go. So have a guess now how many miles an hour or kilometers per hour, depending on your preference, how fast are we going to go in this thing, but I'm going to push it to the absolute limit and i just want to find unequivocally this is how fast you can go in gran turismo 7s so let's do it so first of all we're going to go to special Ace route x untuned and we'll have a baseline and then we'll see how far we can push that with tuning i think there's going to be quite a bit of tweaking to the gears needed so let's go to special Ace route x and we'll just do time trial and let's see how we do this car by the way may break my fanatec wheel this car does in fact i'm going to do it on my controller because I don't trust this car, so... <laughs> right, here we go. It's a mad car, by the way. If you've never seen it before... Yes, that is aerodynamics. And yes, this is the boost. We've already got the Speed Demon Trophy. Look at the miles an hour! Look how fast we're going! We're just earning trophies. It's just throwing us trophies left, right and centre. So are we going to get 400 miles an hour coming down the um, the dip here. So we're going to go up and then we're going to come down. So it's climbing, climbing, climbing. We'll lose a bit going up. We're going to overtake the plane. We're going to take off. Right, let's see how fast we can go. Are we going to tip the scales at 400 miles an hour? Let's see. Five exhausts here. So coming down the hill. 390, 391. 392. I don't think we're going to fit a 400. I'm just going to level out. Okay, so we hit 392. Let's do a big handbrake turn. I know you want me to do it. What's going to happen when we hit the handbrake? Let's find out. Oh my gosh. It'll... Look how quickly it stopped. <laughs> right, let's go to the tuning workshop and let's add some upgrades to the thing. Let's get over 400 miles an hour. So there's not an awful lot we can do actually with this thing. Man, we're going to have to do this all in the gearing, I think. Although I've got a little little trick I'm planning to do. But let's see what we can do here. Okay. So we're back at Special Stage Route X. And let's tweak that gearing. I think we actually need to bring that top gear a little bit shorter. So I'm bringing it quite a bit shorter. Let's see what that does. That may have been stupid. Yeah, we're definitely going to get up to seventh gear. Whoa, I regret doing this on my wheel. Ugh. <laughs> let's get back to the controller. Let's get the body as low as possible. Don't mind it bottoming out, actually. This is the world's longest crash. So let's go up now to 6, 8, 6, 70 see how it deals with that right this could be the one let's find out let's get on the straight before we deactivate all the aero here we go we're in top speed mode now this looks better this i think we can extend that gear even more it's slowing now it's slow ah oh, maybe oh, okay okay 397 398 399, 400 miles an hour. 400 miles an hour. And I think, are we, is that pretty much peak in the rev band? This might be actual perfection. 402 is going to lose a little bit here. Let's see what happens when we go down. Are we going to get like 405? Let's see. The straight is narrow at the moment, pretty much. 402, 403, 404. Come on, 405. One more. One more for one more? No. 405 miles an hour. And have a look how quickly it's going to slow down. <laughs> stupid. That is absolutely stupid, but I love it. Right. 405 miles an hour. Let's do some more tweaking. By the way, let me know in the comments if you can get this car to go faster than 405. And I'm just going to do a few final tweaks. And I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Make sure to like, subscribe, by the way, if you want to see more of these stupid stunts. Right. I've got something special coming up. 
Right, here we go. 405 miles now to beat. I've pulled a slight trick here. The PS5 is struggling. I want to build the most epic. Look at this. Here are my boys. This is the best slipstream train you have ever seen in your life. Right, we need to time this. We need to time it. Okay, that might be good. Let's go. 405 to beat. 405 miles an hour to beat. We're beating it, going up the hill. What's going to happen? We go down. Oh, bit of a flick. 405. 406. 407. 408 miles an hour. 408 miles an hour. Right, that is our new record. This is going to cause the biggest crash in the world, isn't it? Whoa. <laughs> right. I want to give it one more go. I want to give it one more go. 408 to beat. Let's see what we can do. Right, so here we go. I've come back at night when it should be cooler, maybe. And optimal conditions for beating 208 miles an hour. Let's see if we can do it. So this is the big one. This is the big run. Right, steady, steady, steady. And the time is just right time it just right right now let's go let's go let's go top speed mode we want to time it just as we're going up the hill when are they going to start going up just now okay this may be good timing this may be good timing look at the numbers look at the numbers already 400 402 405 406 408 411 miles an hour. 411 miles an hour. Let's cause the biggest crash in history. Are we ready? Whoa. <laughs> 411 miles an hour, viewers. Can you beat that? Let me know in the comments if you can. But until anyone says otherwise, as far as I know, the fastest you can go in Gran Turismo 7 is 411 miles an hour which is stupid fast. So there we go, 411. I really hope someone's gonna smash that time and actually you can go like 630. But as far as I'm aware, 411 is the record. Let me know if you can beat it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, all of that good stuff to grow the channel so we can do more crazy stuff like this. And I'll see you all next time.